No fucking way. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Wait, can I do this? <laughs> So here I am doing yet another AI stylization video, but today I really do have something new to show you. If you enjoyed the League of Legends show Arcane, you would have probably seen a lot of Arcane face filters floating around the internet. Originally, I wasn't planning on making a video for an Arcane filter, but it turns out that the field of research goes much deeper and better than I thought. Okay, first of all, the filter you see online is from an implementation called Arcane GAN. Its AI generation technique is really similar to something all of you are really familiar with. And yes, it's Tunify, aka the AI that created Mr. Incredible becoming uncanny meme. But if you really think about it, Tunify came out like more than a year ago, so it doesn't really match up with the release time of Arcane Gen or just high quality AI stylization compared to the rapid development in AI research. And the reason behind this is not because these kinds of stylistic faces aren't popular, but instead the difficulty in creating something like this is highly technical and experimental. What they roughly did is called style gen blending so basically they have two of the same pre-trained ai face models they fine-tune one of them to a cartoon style and since each layer of nodes inside the pre-trained ai face models handle generation of different facial parts tunify combines the parts that would generate a cartoon facial structure and have a finer human skin details together to make this realistic cartoon face so basically you would need to burn both time and expertise fine-tuning models and chopping them up just to make something to entertain the internet well, I mean, it kind of worked, but this is definitely not the mentality of developing AI to replace our jobs. So today, let me introduce you to Jojo again, an actual Jojo reference, by the way, with a brand new facial stylization method that requires only one single reference to generate mind-blowingly accurate style transfer. So remember what you saw at the start of the video? Well, I kind of did it. I replicated it and you basically get your favorite tech CEOs as colossal titans your favorite basketball players as colossal titans, your favorite celebrity as colossal titans, and of course, Obama as the colossal titan. I could never miss that. So a quick rundown of how this works. This AI just takes my reference, which is this drawn jinx here, throws it into Salgan to generate the most realistic jinx it can, then generates all the faces that look alike to realistic jinx by choosing its closest neighbors in the latent space, and pair them up with drawn jinx to fine tune another pure Salgan face model. So this fine tune training looks at a lot of realistic jinx faces that look like the drawn jinx, then it'll do its best to convert the real stick jinx into the drawn jinx and after the ai gets used to generating drawn jinx based on the realistic jinx so after the fine tune process is done if you just pass the ai any other realistic faces it'll just convert to the style like the drawn jinx while not affecting the facial structure of your other realistic faces because the ai has not been taught how to change it during its fine tune training so this is basically the technique jojo again uses to stylize faces with only the need of one single reference so now whatever real faces you throw into this new ai AI model thing, it will generate in the style of the reference face with a very high accuracy. So compared to other older research, Joker's face paint is not a problem. Yasuho's from Jojo transfers the pink hair and hair tie nearly perfectly. The sketch also looks really clean and it obeys to the lightness of the pencil strokes unlike others where they have darker color. Still frame wise, Jojo can generates every angle consistently. There is only a slight big eye problem in some styles when the input image is facing a bit too much to the side. But yeah, cartoon faces as reference is not a problem. Art reference is not a problem. Watercolor reference is also not a problem. What is this art style called? But it doesn't have a problem. Jojo reference is not a problem either. Overall, Jojo Gan is just too powerful with the references. However, there are still limitations like how it cannot manipulate facial structure like how style Gan blending does. So unfortunately, you cannot convert cartoon faces into real life. And also, there would be a loss of fine details on the reference image. So if there are small patterns or tattoos, there is a great chance of it will be ruined. But if not, lucky you. I guess. Here's a quick comparison between Arcane Gan and Jojo Gan, but since Arcane Gan is more refined at generating an Arcane style because of how it's designed, Jojo Gan may lack a bit of consistency compared to Arcane Gan. Oh, oh, I forgot to mention, you can have multiple style references too. And I am telling you this is because you can also play with this AI yourself, either online with their official Google Colab notebook demo or follow my tutorial to install it locally on your PC so you won't have the freebie limitations on Colab. Both links in the description. But if you want to run it online and collabs limitations such as restrictive GPU 
you access limited usage time and expensive commitment to monthly subscriptions are getting in your way today's partner is qblox which is funded by techstars and they have come up with an innovative service to bring access to powerful gpus at affordable rates with the rise of crypto mining thousands of data centers have gpu servers that are on idle from time to time by utilizing these gpus are generally up to 80 percent more affordable what if there could be an on-demand way to use these resources for compute heavy workloads such as ml model training synthetic data creation and many more as you can see here by using this jupyter notebook i can directly instruct qblock to run an instance and run this exact notebook too this cluster is coming from a crypto miners pc in norway while i am here in north america and all it takes is to make sure the codes are compatible and qblock will launch a gpu instance suitable for your cloud computing not only do they provide the latest and the fastest gpus to choose from but also they are provided at a very affordable and reasonable price too so dual rtx 3090 training would no longer be a dream with 20 percent cashback for first 50 users and 10% cashback for next 100 users on first purchase who we'll sign up through my link down in the description. Big shout out to Andrew, Panther Modern, and many others that support me through YouTube or Patreon. And if you have any questions, feel free to join my Discord and ask there. Follow me on Twitter if you haven't, and I'll see you in the next one.